this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Coming to you another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the two-way community. Like I said before, y'all the star people. I'm just a messenger, just every citizen. Trying to hold the Constitution and defend the Second Amendment. So with that said, appreciate y'all smash that like button, share it on your favorite social media platform. I appreciate everyone following me on Gunstream, supporting me over there. And I appreciate the ones come over here every single day through the good and the bad and the ups and downs. Nothing moves in straight line, people. So let's get into it, people. Some more flying on the radar and stuff like that. Now, I know a lot of people coming into the two-way community don't know about when it comes to as far as gun restrictions and stuff like that. Gun limits, farm limits and stuff. Uh, to my, now, we have so many, you know, states and cities and, you know, counties and stuff are trying to regulate you and, you know, and buying farms and stuff like that. We know that. But see, one thing that a lot of people is not talking about is that something I talked about a long time ago. And I'm seeing states like North Dakota and stuff. They're trying to come up with a bill to pretty much, you know, to, to stop some of the cities and counties, people. Now, the cities and counties, a lot of places, a lot of people don't know this. We talked about this a lot that they're trying to pretty much um when it comes to gun stores people in gun shops you know they're regulating zonings and stuff like that when it comes to you know they're saying what well, neighborhoods don't want gun stores or gun shops you know near their neighborhoods and stuff like that but we see in a lot of places you got abc stores everywhere and all this kind of stuff there's no problem with all that kind of stuff that's out there but you know when it comes to your gun shops and your gun stores people i talked about this about gun ranges and stuff you know, how, you know, you have community, you know, complaining about the noise and stuff from gun ranges and stuff. So they're pushing gun ranges far and far and far out and stuff like that. They're trying to do the same thing with gun stores. Now, some months and months ago, we had all this civil unrest and stuff going on. A lot of people was talking about, you know, I remember this. To my, I read the comments and stuff. A lot of people was talking about, you know, in their area, you know, there was no gun shops. So they were shut down and stuff like that. They're basically trying to, you know, especially in the major cities and stuff like that, they're trying to push the gun shops further and further out, people. They don't want them in the cities and stuff. Counties are doing that. So it's a huge problem. So I was looking at an article at, um, you know, about when it comes to North, North Dakota, how they had a bill trying to pretty much override um, some of the cities and counties because you have some of these cities and counties who they're, they're trying to pretty much uh, you know, go go above the state the state laws and stuff like that. That is very serious and stuff. So when it comes to your gun stores and stuff, people, they're trying to regulate them. They're trying to limit them and stuff, limit the farm sales when it comes to gun stores and gun shops. I've been talking about Illinois for a long time, people. They're trying to make it difficult for you to get a farm, and they're doing it in many ways. They're bypassing a lot of the stuff that most people, citizens, are not looking at. I'm talking about not just the citizen regulating and trying to limit us on purchasing farms and stuff like that, but your gun stop, the gun shops and gun stores, they're trying to limit them too of selling the farm and stuff like that. Because like I said before, most people go to gun shops, gun retailers to buy farms and stuff like that. And don't forget online too. I'm talking about they're trying to regulate everything. So I kind of want to put this on your radar, people, and let you see uh, um, some of the stuff that is out there and stuff. We have a huge fight, people. This fight is going to never be open when it comes to your Second Amendment. Like I said, we're fighting 360 degrees. There is not one side that we can't take our all off right now. They're fighting us in the front, the back, the side, the side. Uh, tomorrow, we got a huge fight ahead of us, people. So open your eyes, people. We ain't got time to sleep. Uh, to my, you know, like I said before, some people still asleep at the wheel and everything. We got, we got a lot of people coming off the sidelines, but we got more people that need to wake up and everything when it comes to your guns in this country and everything. So we got a huge fight ahead and stuff. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.